What is a protein skimmer? Are they necessary? How do they work? What makes the various skimmer technologies better than another? How to tune it for best performance? Our best tips and worst mistakes? All that is coming up. Hi, I'm Ryan, and this is the 52SE Guide to Reefing Skimmer Edition. I'm about to share everything that we've learned about skimmers in the last couple decades, starting with what a skimmer is and when do the benefits justify the space and effort. The quick answer is a skimmer removes organic foods, waste, pigments, toxins, provides gas exchange, and an easy way to incorporate ozone into your system. It's a time-tested filter that's been a primary component in reefer system designs for decades. That said, no filter is absolutely necessary, and there are many thousands of awesome tanks that run perfectly fine without a protein skimmer. Once you know the specifics of what a skimmer does and how it works, you can make an informed decision on if it's an important piece of gear for your tank. If you've ever watched waves crash on the shore and create a dirty foam, you've already witnessed foam fractionation or the fundamentals of how a skimmer works in person. As the waves crash, they mix air, water, and organic pollutants together to create a stable foam that washes up on the shore, and if you went up and scooped up that foam with a large cup, that action would have effectively removed organic pollutants from the ocean. This is what's happening in today's modern skimmers. They suck water in from the tank, whisk it together with air from the room, they decay in organic pollutants from the water, and they create that stable foam head that flows over into a collection cup and removes it from the tank. When you empty that cup, you have completed the export of organic waste from foods that otherwise would have polluted the tank. That is the primary purpose of the protein skimmer, remove organic waste from the uneaten foods and fish waste decaying in the tank. Specifically, remove it before it fully decays and releases the nitrate, phosphate, and other pollutants into the water. For that reason, I would describe the skimmer as a preventative filter, or one that addresses issues before it becomes a problem rather than reacting to it after. Net of that is your tank is less reliant on manual labor like water changes or other filtration methods. The secondary supportive purpose of a skimmer start with maintaining crystal clear water by removing organics before they release yellowing compounds or pigments into your tank water. All the foods we put in the tank contain these pigments that yellow water over time. We can remove the organics that contain those pigments with a skimmer before they break down and they're released. The yellow pigments can reduce par to some degree, but also change the perception of color of the corals and the entire tank. If you're wondering how yellow your water is, turn the tank lights off and look through the long end of the tank to see. For many of you, you'll probably see that it's more yellow than you thought. Or next time you're doing a water change, use a white bucket, which is about the same depth as many tanks. The water in that bucket should be a pristine blue and not yellow. Next, skimmers are commonly believed to help remove the biological toxins that corals release to fight each other for territory, but also the organic toxins and algae, single-celled organisms like dinos, diatoms, and cyanorelease. Not likely to get them all, but they can reduce the overall concentration. Skimmers also play a supportive role in gas exchange and oxygen introduction into many tanks. As the fish respirate and remove oxygen from the water, the O2 depleted water passes through the skimmer, whisked together with oxygen-rich air from the room to replenish it. The reason the skimmer is so good at this role is the many millions of tiny bubbles that collectively create an enormous amount of surface area or air-water interface which saturates the water with fresh oxygen. If you intend on organic carbon dosing to reduce nutrients, a skimmer is a mission-critical component of many of those methods, particularly the most popular, which rely on bacteria consuming the nitrate and phosphate along with the organic carbon that you dose. Actual export happens when the skimmer removes those nutrient-laden bacteria into the collection cup. A skimmer is also one of the easiest ways to incorporate ozone into a system. There are multiple ways to get ozone running, but it can be as simple as throw a Y in the skimmer's air intake line feeding from an ozone generator, or P control to inject the ozone into that skimmer. Ozone is just three oxygen, where one wants to pop off and oxidize odors, colors, pigments, coral toxins, and other organics. And it can even help you remove some contaminants the skimmer would otherwise have missed by changing the polarity of the molecules. Directly or indirectly, we've seen ozone help reduce, sometimes eliminate slimes and films that develop in the tank as well. So that's what a skimmer does. Cleaner, clearer water in the tank. But is a skimmer really needed, or can I do it without? That answer is right here. Is a protein skimmer worth it or necessary? Episode 2 of the BRS TV Guide to Protein Skimmers.